Okay, we're going to learn the uh, D flat major scale in legato octaves. And again, the two main techniques here. used to achieve the legato are the uh, fourth finger going over the fifth finger. So we're going to start on D flat. You have the thumb to the fourth finger. Then you have the thumb to the fifth. Okay. And here we use this finger substitution. Get the fourth in there. One to five. One to four. 1 to 5, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, and here you see the crossovers, the 4th passing over the 5th, 1 to 5, the finger substitution here, see, the 5th being replaced by the 4th, you have to practice this motion slowly, like that, to get it smoothly, okay, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, now we have the crossover, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, now descending, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, and here's the finger substitution, see it there, again the finger substitution, okay, again the finger substitution, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, 1 to 5 here, the substitution, okay, 1 to 4, the substitution, again a substitution, okay, 1 to 4, substitution, 1 to 4, substitution, 1 to 4, substitution, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 4, substitution, So if you practice it slowly for a while, eventually you'll be able to do it quickly and this is excellent for the stretching. Okay, left hand, start with four to the thumb, here's the substitution, we're going to go one to uh, three to one. Three to the thumb, and then we substitute four. See this action here? Very quickly. Okay. Now the pinky to the thumb. Four to the thumb. Three to one with the substitution. Actually, this is kind of a double substitution because first I go. Substitution, 4 to 1 with the substitution, 5 to 1, substitution, 4 to 1 with the substitution, so you see all the substitutions now, we're going to do the crossovers, the 4th finger crossing over the 5th, 1 to 5, now the crossover, 4 over the 5th, descending, 1 to 5, okay, crossover, substitution, see the substitution, Again, we're creating the illusion of a legato uh, because one voice is legato. 
but the lower part of the octave isn't because you're using your thumb. So you're really playing that. Simultaneously you're playing. So we could create an illusion here that they're both legato. Especially if you're going rapidly. The ear focuses on the voice that's playing legato. Okay, thanks for listening. Have a great day.